Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. To you, you and you. 
whomever you are, wherever you are. Good morning to you. Good morning to you. You're listening to Good News from Zion. Pastor Howard Palmer here with you. And we're live from New York. Right here on the best station, the blessed station. Best 100 FM. It's 100.1.3.5.7.9 on your FM dial. So wherever in the island home of Jamaica you are this morning, whatever parish you're listening from, want to say good morning to you. Good morning to you. It's good news. Good news. There's no bad news in this gospel. It's good news. So whether you're at home or you're in the hospital or on the job, on the road, welcome, welcome, welcome. Good morning. All right, all right. We are back with you again another Saturday morning. Thanking God for His grace and mercy for keeping us throughout the course of the week and has brought us back together. So here we are in the number one more time on the old ship of Zion, giving God all the praise, giving Him all the glory for helping us through difficulties and conditions. In our lives. All right, everybody, I'm excited to be back with you and I'm giving the Lord praise this morning for this opportunity to be back with you here on the air. Not taking anything for granted, I'm giving God thanks for the opportunity and privilege. God is the one that does all these things. God does it. There's no way, there is absolutely no way that I could have come up with this kind of stuff on my own accord. But God give grace, He give grace, He give grace. I was I was driving home uh, last night and uh, I was listening to a gospel music gospel song being played on the network, and um, the lady was singing and she it, it was part of the song. She was saying, uh, "It is through Thy Spirit, or it is by Thy Spirit," and she was just exalting God in the song and said, "Lord, it is it is through 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 the Spirit and by Thy Spirit." That the job gets done. I think it was a brother that was singing it, and he was saying that in the song, and it, it ministered to my heart. It is it ministered to my heart because it is true. Everything that God has in store for us as His people, He conceals it in the Spirit, in the Spirit, in the in the Holy Spirit. Uh, God conceals, or He places, or He 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 hides everything that He has in store for us. It is through the Spirit. The Bible says. In 1 Corinthians chapter 2, am I right there? Yeah, 1 Corinthians chapter 2, it says, Eyes have not seen, ears have not heard, it never enter into the hearts of men, the things which God hath prepared for them that love him. But it goes on to say that God has revealed them unto us by his spirit. God revealed the things he has prepared for us. He hath revealed them unto us by his spirit. And it goes on to say, His spirit searcheth all things, Yea, even the deep things of God. So I want to let you understand that that in the spirit of God, in the spirit, in the anointing, there's a wealth of resources and blessing that God has placed within the realms of the spirit, realms of the anointing for you and I. Your blessing is in the anointing. Your blessing is in the presence of God. Your blessing is in, is in the, the power of the spirit. And as we walk, in the spirit manifestation of those blessing comes all right i just wanted to get get that out there because <laughs> i was really ministered to by the song the brother was singing as i was listening to the network coming home last night and he was saying it is all because of thy spirit it is all through thy spirit and i say lord it's true it is absolutely true it is the spirit of god the spirit of god that come that uh move upon our heart at some point in our lives the Holy Spirit moves upon our heart and begin to lead our lives and guide our lives. And when he does this, he lead us in the path of righteousness. He lead us in green pastures. He lead us beside still waters. It is by the Spirit of God the job gets done. I, I want to say something to you, to, to, to you that are listening to me now. 
and things may be difficult for you and life may be tough and mean with you and challenging and it look like you can never get out of it. I just want to leave this little, little thought with you this morning that your blessing is locked up in the realms of the spirit. It is in the spirit of God. The blessing of God is, uh, is provided for you. And if you, if you will learn how to walk in the spirit, you will see the manifestation of what God has in store for your life. Every one of you listening to me right now, you are a wealthy person in the realms of the spirit. In the realms of the spirit, there are provisions that are provided for you. And when the Bible says we should walk in the spirit, it's, it's a literal thing. It is not a joke thing. There is an atmosphere of the anointing that you can dwell in 24 hours a day, 7 days a week. And you can abide in the shadow, the atmosphere, the presence of the Almighty. And that's where blessings are. When I look over my life, when I look over my life and see that uh, I am not supposed to be where I'm at in life. I'm not supposed to be where I'm at in life. Everywhere, every, everything that has happened in my life that was good, it was because of an act of God. A miraculous act of God that the Lord did something. He touched somebody. He moved upon somebody. In many cases, I didn't even have the qualifications. I didn't even have the paperwork. I didn't even have the requirements. But God let me get it anyway. I feel like I want to testify. I say in many cases, the thing that, that, that God blesses me with, I did not have the qualification. I did not have the know-how. I didn't have the paperwork. I didn't have the requirements. But by favor, God gave it to me anyway. He let me get it. He blesses me with it. Every time I, 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 this studio is in my apartment, and every time I pass by the studio and look at it and look at the whole setup here, I say, God, how did I learn to do this? When did I learn to do this? How did I know how to do all of this stuff? The technical part of it, the, you know, all these wire wirings, and how did I learn to do all of this? How did it happen? I am trying. I, I I personally believe that it, that is not just when God opened eye, the blind eyes, or when God let a crippled man walk, or when God raised the dead, that God worked miracles. I believe that God can put something in your head that was never there. Nobody in your family ever done anything like that. So for you to learn from them, when you were growing up, you didn't have a neighbor who who were um, working in this area. So how did you come up with this ability to do it? Not by might, nor by power, but by my spirit, says the Lord of hosts. God is a wonder. God is a miracle worker. See? God is a supernatural God that makes ways, open doors, provide for people, and bless you. And I'm trying to tell you now, I'm talking to people who feel like you're poor, you don't have anything, you don't see no future ahead of you. I am telling you this very moment. Eyes have not seen and ears have not heard. It never enter into the hearts of men what God has in store for them that love him. There are some of your mothers right now, you are troubled about your children. Because you don't have money to send them to school and to college and you, 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 you're worried about their future. And you wonder what's going to become of my sons and my daughters. Mother, I am telling you now, make a covenant with God. Get into some agreement with God. Get into some connections with God. Pray and I tell God, Lord, I want you to bless my children. The thing you want to see your children become, pray it over them. God will honor your prayer and open doors and make ways for you and bless you and lift you up above the shadow and take you into areas and places in life that people will be shocked. To see what God has done for you. I just feel in my heart that I need to encourage somebody this morning. To encourage you. To let you know that the, the, your current situation that you're dealing with. Your current condition that you're dealing with. Some of you don't have anywhere to live. And you, you, you may be caught, staying with somebody here. Staying with somebody there. And they're giving you bad treatment. They're giving you bad treatment. Because if you really want to know what who people are. When somebody perceives you as poor and in need, that's when you see the real personality come out of people. See? When somebody's rich and famous, everybody's smiling and shaking hands and want to autograph. You know? But when you're poor and needy, like some of you listening to me now, you don't have anywhere to stay. 
and you stay here and you stay there and you stay here and people kick you around and they, they treat you badly. Oh my God, I don't know why this is coming to me. Oh, Bashata. There's a lady listening to me right now. You are, you are you're going through a rough time. You're, you're lit, I don't want to use the word catch. I don't want to use the word catch. But you, you, you're staying with people here and people there and they're not treating you good. They're not treating you good. And even even when they... So you don't even, you, you're you not able to feed your children or yourself. And you're, you're being treated very, very bad. And even as I'm talking to you, no tears are coming out of your eyes. It is the Spirit of the Lord dealing with you. Sister, it is the Spirit of the Lord dealing with you. God is going to help you. God is going to help you and God is going to bless you. God is going to turn your captivity around. God is going to turn your midnight into midday. The blessing of God is going to come upon you. As a matter of fact, today, 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 God is going to do something extraordinary, something weird, that you're going to know that this is what the preacher was saying. Do you hear what I said? I said, today, I don't know who you are. I don't even know where in Jamaica you are. I don't know where you are. But in my spirit, I'm seeing you and I'm telling you today, God is going to let an unexplained, unexplained, unexpected blessing come upon you. Favor is going to find you today. You hear what I said to you? I said favor is going to find you today. The Bible said Jesus walked from Judea to Samaria to talk to one woman. See, he walked from Judea to Samaria to talk to one woman. One woman. A woman whose life was in a mess. And that's why I know that Jesus cares about you individually, for real. Your pain and the tears you shed at night on your pillow. As you stay, stay, stay in people, people's houses that treated you badly, God is going to turn it around for you. He's going to make a way for you. And Lord, I pray for this person right now. Sister, you know yourself. Grab a hold of the phone in your hand or your radio or whatever. And, be and believe God with me now. Lord, I pray for this woman right now. That you will bless this woman and make a way for her, Lord. Open a door for her permanently. That today will be the beginning of a turnaround in her life. In the name of Jesus. Rebuke the hands of Satan and bind the forces of darkness that is hindering her blessing and her prosperity. I curse the curse right now, Lord, and I speak the blessings of God over her life. Let favor come upon her, Lord. Make a way for her today. Turn it around in her favor, God. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, Lord Almighty God, fill her barrels with, with meal and fill her crews with oil. In the name of Jesus, let the mountain fall down before her and let the valleys rise up to meet her, Lord. Give her with favor with people in high places. Lord, turn the hearts of people towards her in a good way. In the name of Jesus and the burden and the love she feels in her heart for her children and the concern she has for her children. I pray God that you will send people in her life for you say with good measure, shaken together, running over, you shall cause men to give in her bosom. You shall cause men to give into her bosom. You shall cause people to give into her bosom. In the name of Jesus, let favor come upon her today. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Lord my God, I speak against the drought in her life. And I said the drought in your life, woman of God, is ended. This drought and this drought is ended. In the name of Jesus, rain shall fall upon your dry ground. Rain shall fall upon your dry ground. In the name of Jesus, and God is going to make a way for you. God is going to turn it around for you. In the name of Jesus, Jesus, we give you praise, Lord. We give you praise. We give you praise. We give you praise. Hallelujah. We give you praise. Oh, God, we worship you. We worship you. Sister, let's show the course of the program. Let's worship the Lord and thank him. Let's worship him and thank him. Let's worship him and thank him. He's going to make a way for you. He's going to help you. In the name of Jesus. Mm. 
I stand amazed in the presence of Jesus the Nazarene and wonder how he could love me a sinner condemned unclean Let's sing that one more time It's only because of Jesus that the Father could ever love us because of what Jesus did not because of anything we've done or haven't done but only because of Jesus Let's just be amazed let's be in awe of that tonight that we are sons we are daughters of a high king, of a good father. We're not ministers first. We're not pastors first. We're not worship leaders first. We're not artists first. First, we are sons and we are daughters of God. Let's be overwhelmed by that tonight, okay? Stand amazed. I stand amazed in the presence of jesus the nazarene and wonder how he could love me a sinner condemned unclean God, because of Jesus, you do. So we're singing how marvelous, how wonderful, and my song shall ever be. How marvelous, how wonderful is my took my sin and my sorrows and made them his very own. And he bore my burden to Calvary where he suffered and died.
I tell you what I tell you what I'm sensing right now. I'm sensing right now. I feel in my heart that the Lord is telling me to pray, to pray for people who are going through difficulties. Difficulties, spe specifically in the area of finances, in the area of living situation. You know, God, I sense an unction of the Spirit of God that wants me to pray now. There is an anointing right now in the studio, right now. The waters are troubled right now for you to be released and for your condition to change. For your situation to turn around. Do you hear me what I say? I don't know where in Jamaica you are listening from. I don't know what's going on with you. But I am telling you now that the Spirit of God has released an unction right now, right this moment. I want to pray for people who are going through difficulties. Difficulties. Financially, your living situation, food, your daily living, you're struggling, you're hurting. I want to pray for you now. Let me say this. A sinner you may not have any credit to call but, but this is what I want you to do text if you can't call Sing one more time. I wanna, I'm going to pray one big general prayer for everybody Father could ever love there us. is an anointing and a release of God this very moment that for those of you that that step in the Bible says at a certain time of the year the angel of God come down and trouble the water the waters are troubled of a high king. and the bible said that whoever first step into the water first. they will be cured of their diseases now pastors first when i worship leaders. there is a release of god's anointing right here right now for you daughters of god and if you would believe god with men come in agreement something can happen something is going to happen for you the name of Jesus. The name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. God is going to release you. You're coming out of it. Your blessing is coming. The door is going to open for you. Favor is going to come. The scripture said in the book of Luke. With good measure. Pressed down. Shaking together. He shall cause men to give in your bosom. It is God who prick the hearts of people to bless you. Do you hear what I said? It is God by the Holy Spirit that pricks people's heart God to bless you, you and give you favor. So God will touch people's heart to bless you. In the name of Jesus. I'm going to open up the phone lines right now. I'm going to open the phone lines for a couple of minutes and I'm going to take the request. I need your name. I am going to pray the release I'm sensing this very moment that God wants to deliver you. You have nowhere to live. You're struggling to feed yourself and feed your family. Struggling to pay your bills. It's rough. There's a breakthrough coming on you now. God is going to do it for you this morning. Believe God with me. Lift your faith. My sin and my sorrows and me if this lady who i spoke who i prayed for earlier and spoke about if you can if you have the means to call i want to hear from you make the call the number to is the whatsapp number is 516-499-1383 the whatsapp number is 516 Four nine nine one three eight three. That's a WhatsApp number five one six four nine nine one three eight three. Again, the number is five one six four nine nine. One three eight three four nine nine thirteen eighty three area code five one six. That's the WhatsApp number. Is our great hope the local number is eight seven six three one nine seven four six nine. Local number is eight seven six 
319-749-7469. This will be my joy through the age. 8763197469 Good morning. Good morning. Yes, good morning. Good morning. Good morning. It is love for me. Once again, the number is 876 319 8763197469 The scripture said once a year once a year and he bore the angel of the Lord came and troubled the water you see there are time when God will trouble the water where, where God will stir up an atmosphere of blessing he will stir up an atmosphere of healing of deliverance and you must know it you must see it and know it and when that opportunity come move on it move on it some of you have been in that rut for too long. You have been in that situation for too long. It looked like you, your life not making no progress for years and years. And if you're listening to me, now is not by coincidence you're listening. You want to get out of it. God going to bring you out. The atmosphere is stirred. The water is troubled. There's a blessing awaiting you. For all those of you who are texting on WhatsApp, I'm seeing your text. I'm seeing your text. I'm going to pray one general prayer at the end for everybody. The water is troubled. This will be my joy. God has stirred an atmosphere for you to get your, your, your blessing and your deliverance to bring you all the way out. Once again, the WhatsApp is 516-499-1383. The local number is 876-319-7469. Again, 
For those of you who are using texting and WhatsApp, just go ahead and send the message. It's hard for me to communicate with you back and forth by text. All right, uh, I'll text you back later, but uh, go ahead and uh, send in your text. Send in your text. I want to pray for you. The water is troubled. There's a blessing awaiting somebody. God want to do something for somebody. Go back. Listen to the song. Listen to the song. It's your time. Twenty-four minutes to seven o'clock. It's your time. It's your time for a change. The end of the year is around, is right around the corner. A brand new year is about to start. Enough is enough. You got to get out of this. Jay that just texts me on WhatsApp, Sister Jay. I don't want to say your name, but uh, Sister Jay, I got your text right here. I'm looking at it. Step in, sister. Step in by faith. Step in by faith. A release is here for you. Give this about five to ten more minutes, and then we're going to wrap this section up. This segment up. Step in, step in. The waters are troubled. A change, a change is on its way. I remember when I was a teenager and my life was not going nowhere. God sent a man of God in my life. I could sense the atmosphere around this man was different. I could sense a change around this man man of God and I grab a hold of it my life has never been the same since 
You see, you, you must not miss your moment. Do not miss the moment. There are times when God will stir an atmosphere, and it's for you at that moment. At 6.50, I'm going to pray for all those of you sending in your texts. I am going to be praying for you. At 10 minutes to 7 o'clock. Earlier um, this year, I had the privilege of going to Israel with Kathy Lee Gifford, and we did a music film to a song that God allowed us to write together. And just like we were just singing, it may look like I'm surrounded, but I'm surrounded by you. A part of the song is a reminder, and it simply says, And I will be a ring of fire around you. And I will bring you to your knees and I will lift you up again for I am the God who sees I'm the God who sees I see you I'm the God who sees And it's so good to know that the God who sees is also the same God who redeems. And he buys back our pain and our heartache.
drives back our pain and our heartache. He'll say, KB.
Right where I belong 